What's up everybody, Jared back once again, and today we're going to be taking a look at Null version 11. This is the ROM that a lot of you guys have been asking about in some of the app reviews I've been doing, and I uh, told you to hang on, we'll get to it, we'll get to it, and here we are. So, Null version 11, I've actually been flashing the updates since version 8, if that's any indication as to my opinion of this particular ROM. So, what is it? Well, it's basically the best of both worlds, AOSP and stock Samsung firmware, okay? So, maybe you or like me where you flash CyanogenMod ROM as an example and you miss a lot of the features that stock Samsung firmware comes with. Well, I'm right there with you and so is Foamy, the developer of this ROM. At least I hope I'm pronouncing his name correctly, Foamy. Um, anyways, so what he's done here is taken the theme, the AOSP theme, done a really great job of theming it throughout the UI um, and then threw it on top of the Samsung Galaxy S3 firmware and then took out a bunch of the crap that comes with the Samsung Galaxy S3 firmware, such as a lot of the bloatware and Samsung related applications and so on. And I think he's done a perfect job of it. Now this is an aroma based installer. So when you do install it, one thing you'll notice right away is that it isn't convoluted with way too many uh, mods and, and, and add-ons and all that stuff there. I think developers are starting to get a little bit carried away with the aroma installers and just putting in way too much crap and it's just confusing people. Especially it's a lot harder to update your device um, from you know uh, increment to increment without having to go through all of those bloody modification selections all over again. So Foamy's done a fantastic fantastic job. Now, it starts out if you go when you go to the uh, ROM thread, which I'll be posting a link in the about section down below. Um, he's got a bunch of screenshots for you to take a look at because the intent of this ROM is to be used in 240 DPI, which basically makes everything considerably smaller. I've never really been a big fan of 240 DPI personally, but that's why he also gives the option during the installation process to hit it up with 320 DPI instead. Now, there are various other options in there as you're going along during the installation, um, some of which are the on-screen soft keys. You can enable those. You can enable the pop-up browser. You can enable uh, the paper artist and a couple of other things which I'll let you kind of go and get into yourself and explore. But there really isn't all that much and that's what I love about it. So moving on from there uh, and from the installation, you'll notice the theme here. So pulling down the notification bar, you've got that hollow theming going on, right? Absolutely love that stuff. There's a bunch of different, um, there's three different toggle selections that you can choose from. You can choose the stock. Uh, again, this is during the Aroma installation. You can choose the stock Samsung toggles, the 15 button toggle or the massive 23 button toggle. Now I do like um, having more toggles than what the stock Samsung firmware gave, gives us. So I just kind of went up with the um, 15 uh, button toggle uh, notification thingy here. So, and that's, it's working for me. And as you can see, we've got like reboot, shut down, the timeout, everything that I actually use on a regular basis, which was really nice to see. Um, short of that, we'll go ahead and jump into the about phone options here. And you'll notice that, yes, it is the GTI 9300. So I probably forgot to mention that in the beginning of the video. This ROM is specific for the GTI 9300. Uh, if you do like this ROM, I highly recommend you find your favorite developer and ask them very nicely to port this over because um, this is a great, great ROM. It is running or based on the official Samsung 4.1.2 uh, firmware version. And of course, as you can see down there at the bottom, it's null version 11. And yes, it is re uh, using the SIA kernel version 1.8.4. So, uh, in addition to that, we also get, that's right, the S Tweaks application pre-installed on the ROM for us. Now, taking a look around the ROM itself, uh, just to kind of show you some of the themes, that uh, the theming that he's done here. As you can see, we've got the dialer all themed out, ready to go. Unfortunately, it doesn't have the swipe feature that people were kind of asking for. So when you swipe, it kind of goes from, um, you know, each sort of little page here. Um, however, it does have, which he recently included as of version 11, the call recording uh, feature that a lot of people have been requesting. So you've got all your standard Samsung Galaxy S3 um, options in the uh, um, the calling uh, screen here, as you would expect, which is really, really nice. Uh, moving on from there, jumping into the um, messaging application here. This is obviously the updated messaging application and is actually themed very nicely. So if I was to hit that little button there, now, of course, this isn't the uh, stock keyboard that it comes with. It'll be coming with the Samsung uh, keyboard. However, I went with SwiftKey because it's my favorite one, SwiftKey 3. But you'll notice it is themed nicely. So we've got the little sort of Google Play, you know, uh, universal button for stuff. You know what I mean? And um, so it's themed really, really nicely. Um, in addition to that, hitting into settings, you've got all the different new settings here that come with Android 4.1.2. Um, 
you know, I'll let you kind of explore those on your own. But there's a lot of things such as the um, uh, notifications, how many times it reminds you that you got a missed uh, uh, the, or that you have message alert re repetition to let you know, like um, in increments that you have a, uh, uh, you know, a text message that you haven't checked out yet and so on, which I love because that wasn't uh, available in previous versions of Android and a bunch of other stuff as well. As you can see, that's a quite a long list of um, settings in just the messaging application itself. Uh, furthermore, if you do the um, hold the uh, long press the power button, this is your extended um, power options here. Now, if you do have your soft keys, I believe if you ha if you decided to uh, have that installed, I believe you should be able to find the toggle for that to turn it on and off in here as well, which is nice. Um, furthermore, if you wanted to, this is something that I really like. Not everybody likes it, but if you wanted to, and hi there, um, if you wanted to, you can actually long press the menu button and that'll actually kill the... Um, uh, the foreground application for you, which is always really, really nice. Um, I like that. It, previously on other ROMs, it's to long press the back button, but uh, and some people were complaining because that takes away the functionality of accessing uh, Google Now. However, again, just long press the home button, press the middle G button, and you're in Google Now, no problems whatsoever. Uh, in addition to that, what I really like is that it all uh, it automatically has, and this isn't a selection uh, option during the Roma install, which I like, it actually has the option when your screen's off and you're listening to music, long press up on the volume will skip a song, long press uh, down on the volume will um, go back a song, so that's um, good for your songs and, and you know when you're in the car or whatever, so you don't have to keep opening up the lock screen and getting into the widgets or whatever it may be. All right, now let's take a look at the lock screen. So as you can see, we do have the um, CRT off animation. Uh, oh, or at least it was there for a second there. Was it going to go now? Yeah, there it is. <laughs> um, but turning it back on, you, we now have the inked um, lock screen effect. So as you can see here, I actually have purple chosen. You'll see that it's leaving that ink mark behind. And I thought that just looks so cool. It's obviously cosmetic and there's no function to it, but you know, this is all about customizing your Android device, right? And I just think that looks super cool. Um, if we wanted to jump into settings, we'll go into, where the heck was it? Uh, lock screen and we can jump into lock screen options and you've got the ink effect and you can actually um, select what, what you want. So do you want, and there's quite a few. So you've got like dark red, as you can see there, it gives you a little preview of what it'll look like, uh, yellow, that one it's not showing us what it looks like red black um, light blue and there's actually and I haven't even seen these in uh, version 10 some of these were here but it looks like he may have added some more colors um, that I was unaware of so that's really nice and pleasant to see so you got a bunch of different colors you can choose from here even pink if you want uh, I thought orange looked pretty sharp green and purple look pretty sharp as well um, furthermore getting back to the lock screen again believe it or not I love this feature I love this feature check this out long press the home button and you now have access to your flashlight, just like that, as you can see, right? Let go and it turns off. Press and hold it again and it turns back on. No more dicking around with the, you know, notification bar, pull it down, hit the flashlight button, or even have to get into the device itself and start getting through menus or whatever. It's right there, ready to go at your fingertip, which I thought was an absolutely awesome addition. And I haven't seen many ROM developers add that because your home button is pretty much useless on the lock screen. So may as well add some functionality to it as well, right? And as a lot of ROM developers have been doing, they've actually been including um, Android 4.2 applications such as your Gmail application, basically anything Android related. So you got your Gmail, YouTube, Google Voice, Maps, and all that other stuff is all updated to the official 4.2 um, application versions. Now a lot of people have been asking me about this in uh, some of the videos out there that I have. Um, yes, this actually does have your multi-view feature. So long press on the back button there brings up the multi-view, uh, all the different applications. Now generally speaking, multi-view um, with any application you want, user downloaded applications wasn't allowed. It as far as the stock firmware was concerned, only the applications that were predefined in there um, are the ones that are quote unquote compatible with the multi-view um, option. However, um, because this is a custom ROM, uh, we've got now got the application multi-window control. And you go ahead and select add applications and you can see that I've already added a couple applications. Obviously the calendar is a system application, but you can see that I've added circle alarm, cloud send. And if we wanted to add more, we just click the plus button there. It loads up our applications list and as you can see, we now have access to any one of our user and or system um, loaded applications right available to us. So if I wanted to, I could always add WhatsApp and back out of there. It's going to kill it. So we'll kill it and we'll get back to the main menu here. Go ahead and activate the um, feature again and you'll see that it's not there. But wait a minute. Click on edit 
and you'll see that WhatsApp is now there. Drag and drop that into the list and away you go. So people are gonna love that. You're gonna love that. It's an awesome feature and it does come in handy more often than you would think. The ROM, I'm sorry, has been actually really, really rock solid. I'm not sure if I already said that or not, but it's been super smooth. No force closes, no issues whatsoever with battery life. Battery life, I'm getting easily a day out of it with my usage, that being, you know, light to moderate usage, um, depending on if, unless I'm going out, in which case, obviously, if you're gonna be taking pictures or whatever, it's gonna be using data, um, then it will drain your battery a little bit more. But uh, all things considered, with the SIA kernel and the modifications that he's made, I think he's did a fantastic job with balancing performance with battery life. I really don't think it gets much better than this, especially with the insane amount of theming he's done here. He's done just an absolutely fantastic job, um, uh, especially not uh, overcomplicating the aroma installation process. Anyways, guys, I'm sure there's stuff that I've missed. There's so much to explore with this particular ROM. It's been an absolute joy to use. Um, I will be flashing after this video CM 10.1 to do kind of a quick sort of like um, concept video for you guys because it's not even in alpha stages yet. But uh, anyways, guys, that's it for now. This is Null ROM version 11 for your Samsung Galaxy S3 i9300. Like I mentioned before, I'll be posting a link in the about section below. Head on over to the thread, check it out, download it. Let me know what you think of it in the comments below. Um, but that's it for now, guys. Until next time, cheers.